Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have the Journal Junk box and sack that have both been sent to me for review for the month of February. I know I've been doing a lot of catch up and doing a few more January boxes. I do still probably have a couple more to go, but I'm very excited to share this box with you that they always are kind enough to send to me nice and early so I can take some photographs and share it with all of you. And I know that I'm still by far not the first one. So thank you so much for watching my videos even when you've seen it on another one of your favorite channels so let me go ahead and talk about the prices first so there is the journal junk box which comes in this lovely pink box that has all kinds of awesome stationary goodies and desk accessories and that is $53.95 per month then there is the journal junk sack which comes in a mailer bag and then inside of that mailer bag mine was just a little bit crunched you get this little bubble wrap pouch and that has a few nice goodies usually they have the same theme and that journal junk sack is going to be $30.95 per month now if you want all the things because they do always coordinate so well with shared themes without any overlap of course you can get the bundle where you save basically five dollars and you get both of them together for $71.95 and of course I do have an affiliate link as well as a code for you it is high Noel 15 and that will save you excuse me it's just high Noel that will save you 15% but don't you worry you always want to double check because sometimes I get things messed up. Always double check the description box below for those codes and those links. It makes it really easy. You can just click on the link, even though YouTube probably doesn't like that very much. But that is where I put all of those codes and links for you. So you can get your own journal junk sack and box, maybe one or the other, maybe both. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with the journal junk sack today. Like I said, uh, so I know that a lot of you really enjoy this subscription. I think she does great themes and I do really have fun. I finally got to start taking some photos for her over on Instagram as well. So you'll see those on her accounts as well as on my account occasionally. She's usually ahead of me on that one too. So we got our little card, of course. We don't actually get a product card for the sack. We do get a nice detailed product card for the box, but wow, this is a lot of stuff for the Journal Junk sack. First of all, because this is not just a stationary box, we often get some fun lifestyle products too. So if you're looking for a box that kind of hits all the marks and does surprise you with even some home decor on occasion or accessories, this is a really good one to consider. We got some really cute socks, novelty socks. It says, plant one on me. And then of course it has a picture of a plant very pink you know with a box like that you're gonna get a lot of pink you're gonna get a lot of very feminine things you guys know pink is not my favorite color but again the theming of this box and the sack are always really really fun I'm just not a sock girl so I will probably pass this on to one of you or to one of my friends or family members but it is pretty darn cute uh, and per appropriate for the holiday that is just around the corner we always get a fun quote card um, and I think everyone probably gets a different one because she probably just uses a couple of decks it says I am fully loved and worthy of it. Now that is a good one to put right above your desk and just remember and maybe even say out loud, you know, tuck that in the corner of your mirror for when you're getting ready in the morning. I love that. That's a good one. Uh, what else have we got? We have our bookmark that tells us about the referral program, but on the other side, it also has journal prompts for growth. Like where do I want to be in five years? Oh goodness. I still want to be doing this in five years, but hopefully my channel will have grown a little bit more, you guys. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we've got in terms of more stationary items. We have a cute little bag, a bag within the sack, a sack within the sack. Our, oh, this is adorable. What a cute item. So it's like a little, almost like a moleskine notebook and a nice rich red color. Let me see if I can get into this. Sometimes the little flaps on these bags can be a little tricky. How cute. So always a great thing to have in your purse for jotting down notes. This one has a little engraved gold uh, gem on it. And then of course it's got that nice elastic closure so that your pages aren't going to get all rumpled in your purse if you do have to put it in there. They usually fit really well into one of the little slip pockets in most purses, in bigger ones. It's got nice thinly lined pages. You guys know I like a good, what we used to call it like wide ruled versus college ruled, but just narrower in terms of the height or shorter I guess in terms of the height I'm happy that it's lined actually because more likely will I use it it also has a nice uh, ribbon bookmark I'm trying to find that but 
there is our nice ribbon bookmark that's always nice as well sometimes I'll use the elastic to mark my page too but again when you're putting it into a bag and you don't want it to open up and the pages get all messed up then it is nice to be able to close it securely like that we almost always get a fun pen in the sack and this time around it definitely goes along with the notebook and the holiday that's coming up it's just a nice fun um, pink and red heart pen so with a little clip so it looks like a ballpoint pen pretty cute who knows that's adorable as a little uh, gift set though then we also got some stickers from paper house and it looks like there are maybe four different sheets on here so let me go ahead and open it up I have started finally using stickers for a long time you guys I didn't know what to do with stickers and now I've just started covering up all my mistakes or cancellations or reschedules in my day planner with stickers or just decorating different days this is fun they're kind of like watercolor there's some lips and some hearts and roses we've got this one that's got some more like tabs for those of you who really do those beautiful planners I know there's some of you out there these are nice for a little like word art kind of looks like magnetic poetry back in the day and then finally some real simple things some kind of love themed uh, stickers as well as of course some hearts so and I love that we got some black hearts to match my black heart pendant so <laughs> I don't know why it's not like I have a black heart I used to like make jokes about because I tend to be a little bit sarcastic and cynical I know you would never guess right that was kind of like my you know the air I had about me once upon a time I'm a lot more positive these days I will say uh, this is a lovely greeting card it's a Valentine's card it's really lovely though it's like in grays. it is of course from Elam letterpress which is a brand that I love that we get in a lot of journal junk boxes and sacks so really really pretty it's on 100% cotton paper of course it's got this nice craft brown envelope but I don't know I was trying to show you from the side so you can see how it's engraved into that nice thick cream paper um, really really pretty so that is a lovely item to get so and they are really great about shipping towards the beginning of the month for subscribers as well as the unboxers that you see it on uh, so you would definitely have that in time to send off a nice card and I love the sort of uh, encouragement of old-school correspondence and snail mail these days from a lot of subscription box companies all right you guys let's take a look at our box which again here is our box that actually contains everything and the theme which is also the theme of the sack but you might not know if you just get the sack is you are meant to be so a little positivity uh, in terms of like self affirmation as well as going along with the whole Valentine's Galentine's theme of this month so that's what it looks like on one side on the other side it tells us what is in the box and then of course she also has the February journal prompts which is really really nice um, so we have one for every week of the month how can I love myself unconditionally week one week two how can I create more time for myself week three what are five self-love affirmations I can repeat to myself daily and week four how can I set boundaries for myself because sometimes boundaries are uh, really important I mean we love the idea of unconditional love but everybody has their limits right <laughs> I like it we got some black tissue paper in here I'm liking the little accent of black I'm not as anti pink as I used to be I'm definitely not as anti heart as I used to be so I'm very curious to see what we've got in here I tried not to peek too much at everybody else's stuff it looks like we've got some more kind of lifestyle items to round out our box this time around so it looks like we got a cute little tea towel how adorbs um, one of one of you sent me a cute little Valentine's tea towel as kind of you know like the extra from our little Valentine's gift exchange that we did so thank you again so much to Diane that was very sweet of you but this will go really well with it actually so this is cute you guys it actually has an embroidered heart on it so it looks like the letters are actually printed to look like they're embroidered but that heart you can see is three-dimensional and it does have that actual embroidery on there an embellished kitchen towel very very cute um, it actually does kind of go in my kitchen because my kitchen is black countertops and a lot of red accents so even though it's kind of Valentine's y which you know I used to be cynical and say Hallmark holiday blah 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 I can kind of get into it and I like that it just simply says love and it actually kind of matches the love cross stitch that I did from my renew box it's the same sort of design where they actually used a heart for the O, just like I did of course it was a black heart <laughs> so let's see what it says about this this is the love embellished tea towel which has a value of $13.99 so for those of you who are really good about changing out your your uh, tea towels for the holiday season that's a good one very springy and cute you know 
you could use that way past uh, way past Valentine's Day as well. So I'm just getting rid of the tissue. Another kind of home decor item. Now I will say, guys, I I have said it before, so I, I have to be consistent. I'm kind of over the decorative garlands, the the beads. Like <laughs> this one's like I'm over you too. I'm not gonna let you open me up. Um, so it's just one of those like design accents that I guess it's maybe just because of my aesthetic in my own home, or maybe just that I don't have enough space to have some beautiful garlands or beads draped nicely over a bowl in my entryway because I don't really have an entryway. <laughs> it's like you walk in, you like do a, do a turn and you see my whole apartment. Um, but this is what it looks like. This is kind of cute though because you could use it as an embellishment for something else. So it's actually just a strand. I think this could be really cool as like the pull on like your ceiling fan or something. You could like rig that up. Uh, so it's got this wood heart on one end and then it's got these multicolored beads, white and just the natural natural wood color. It's from Cole House Designs. So it's not really like a garland in terms of being like a circle, but you know, this is the kind of thing. It's a little bit smaller too. So for those of you who like do a nice little tiered tray, this would be really cute snaking through your little tchotchkes, your little items that are on there. It's just kind of a fun thing to have, I guess, that kind of is different for a stationary box. So it's a decorative heart bead garland by the Hearthside Collection. So this one actually said coal design, but hard, you know, sometimes there's some variation, doesn't matter. And sometimes there's always like sub companies within companies. Uh, it has a value of $8.99. So I know a lot of you are really excited about this. I don't, I just personally don't know what to do with it, but maybe I'll just put it in like my, I don't know, my spoon holder or something, or I could just drape it over my oven handle along with my tea towel, you know, just as a little decoration. I could just tie it in a knot around um, I know a lot of people do this where they do do it around like your your doorknobs. I guess it doesn't like really hang quite right there. But you could just put you could put a little ribbon there to make it close if you wanted to. Or it actually seems like if you do a little bit of a longer tail on this side, and I might just steam that little jute rope tail, um, that it would actually hang and just be like a cute little accent. I guess it could work. Or I could put it on my door. That's like the only place I do any like holiday decor because it's the only thing that anyone else sees. So. I'll find something cute to do with it. Don't you worry. All right. But I had to like be cynical me, you know, for a second. <laughs> All right. So here is our pen that we got in the box, which is probably maybe from the same collection as the one that we got in the sack, but they both came in cute little bags that I can definitely reuse for regifting. So no, a little bit different. So well, same but different. So this is the one that was in the sack. This is the one that's in the box. So this one has a little bit more in terms of a little grippy part on it, and it's got more of a rounded cap, but same kind of pen tip and same fun little heart design on, on the shaft of it. So cute. All right, let's see what else we've got. Oh, so it says about our pen, it's a So In Love heart pen by Bruno Visconti. It has a value of $3.99. We also got, this is a nice bulldog clip. So let me see, it lo does look like I'll be able to pull that out easily, but it's got like stickers on the back, but it's just a nice big clip in a nice pale pink. So let's see what it says about this. Um, I think, oh, so this is a variation. You would have gotten heart-shaped paper clip set, which would be really, really cute, by Paige Evans, or the Blush Bulldog Clip by Heidi Swap. The selection varies, and this has a value of five, $5.49, either way, whether you got the paper clip set or you got this little bulldog clip. So pretty cute. Um, it's nice, you can see along the side, you guys. So it does have, um, it's not just a round clip where it's gonna put a big dent necessarily in your papers, which is always my pet peeve, which is why I tend to like binder clips clips more than paper clips actually because those do dent up your pages but it's got those nice flat it almost looks like a little triangle in there so that's going to be kind of what's clasping things closed a little bit more so that's a little bit safer for your paper which I do appreciate so that's kind of cool all right we got a pen set stamp markers oh cool so it says there's five of them they're in different colors and we have two hearts in pink and orange, two stars in yellow and green, and a little flower in blue. So I'll pull those out when I take some photos for you guys over on Instagram. Please follow me over on Instagram if you're not already. I do a lot of product photography and subscription box photography, but you got you get a chance to see a lot of the products up close and in use occasionally over there. So it's at Maui underscore Noel. There's a link for it in the description box below. The description box below is a treasure trove of information. But they show us here on the back, you can kind of see 
So basically they're like self-inking stamps, but little pens, which is really cute. And also something that I could definitely use to kind of decorate and zhuzh up my day planner. So this is the round trip set of five stamp markers by Maggie Holmes. It has a value of $9.99, so just two bucks a stamp marker, which is totally fine. So round tip set is what I'm guessing, not round trip. I'm like, round trip tickets to where? But round tip <laughs> stamp markers. All right. Looks like we got another Elam Designs card in the box. This one's really cute too. So now I have to decide which one get my husband gets and which one my Galentine gets. We are meant to be happy Valentine's Day. Well, I guess my husband will probably get that one. I like the deep dark red envelope on this. And so again, it has that nice thick paper and kind of like engraved embellishments. And I do like the gold foil on there as well. That is lovely. And this is again by Elam Designs. So that is We Are Meant To Be Greeting Card by Elam. And these all have a value of $5.50. So, so a lot of times we can kind of figure out the value and the prices on a lot of the things that were in the sack based on the things that are in the box. But that might be one of my favorite items. Um, even though I'm really bad about sending out greeting cards, I don't even really do Christmas cards anymore in all honesty. But when I have really pretty ones, then I do like to send them out. All right. We got some stickers and these are the fun like three dimensional stickers. So you can see there's like some foam core on the back. So these ones aren't going to necessarily work, you know, in your planner because then your planner is not going to close. But I know some of you who are doing those really elaborate scrapbooks where the pages all have their own sleeves and, um, you know, has the post binding so that you can actually have some raised items, ticket stubs, what have you. These are really fun. So this is just kind of lovely, like sort of gold and um, pastels um, not necessarily love really well it's got a love heart it's got XOXO and a heart with an arrow going through it but I like the make your own sunshine and the love this I like that one up there um, that might go in my planner because that one is not three-dimensional it doesn't have the little puffy sticker on the back so this is our find joy everyday dimensional sick sticker set sticker set <laughs> sticker set of 11 by American Crafts and it has a value of $5.99. So they even tell us right there. I was going to count how many stickers there are. There's 11. All right, you guys, this is pretty cool. Um, so we always get like a journal or a notebook in this box. Sometimes you get them in the sack as well. But this one is ticking all my boxes, even though it's pink. It's kind of more of a salmon so it's got the spiral binding which i love and it's in gold gold accents it says hustle with heart so i much prefer that over something like girl boss um and then it's got the gold elastic love that let's see what it looks like inside yes i see that thing on the front too so it's nice because you can use it as a planner can you guys see the dates along the top so you can just circle and um basically note which month it is which day of the of the month it is it's got some fine pretty like college ruled um it's in that pink too the lines are in pink which is kind of nice so this is cool you could use it as a planner or you could just use it as a journal or a notebook um it does have that nice uh like i said that closure the the gold closure but on the front you guys just to go along with everything we got this charm necklace that says follow your heart this gold charm necklace what a cool extra um, let me see if I can get into this. So this is a card that I'll have to eventually pull off of here. But let's see if I can get into it now. Um, let's see where my scissors are. I've got scissors everywhere, but where I need them, you know, that's the story of my life. So let me pull this. Uh, I don't know that I'll be able to pull the um, pendant out, but I can try. So how cool though, you guys. So it says that this is the heart, Hustle Heart journal gift set by Elam Design. So it's actually kind of um, pinned on there, so I can't get it off. But, uh, and I don't want to pull the card off quite yet. So you're going to have to wait for over on Instagram to see it up close. But it's just a really lovely charm necklace. It's a simple gold heart, pretty big. Um, and I'm guessing that it does have adjustability on the back on a gold chain. But yeah, they kind of pinned it with like a little twist tie to the card. So I can't take the backer card off quite yet. But I will definitely show it. You will probably see it in some of my videos because I love a simple gold heart necklace as well. This whole thing, the notebook, and the little charm necklace that comes with it, which I think is so cute, 
is a value of $14.99, which is a really, really good deal. So even though it's pink, this is my favorite. I kind of love that we got an accessory along with a beautiful notebook. And then we also got some fun home items. We got a tea towel and the bead garland, as well as some great stickers, stamp pens, a clip. I mean, this was a really fun box. And I thought that uh, the greeting cards were probably my next favorite thing. But you guys let me know in the comments below what your favorite items were in the February Journal Junk sack and box and what you do with some of these items when you receive them, what you do with your tea towels, what you do with your bead garlands. That's what I'm really interested in what you do with all those three-dimensional stickers. I would love to hear from you in the comments below and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next unboxing.